There's no question that keeping your immune system in top form is vital, especially as we're going through flu season during a pandemic. So we took all of your questions about immunity and nutrition to health expert Bryce Weil in a live Q&A session online. Now, one of the questions that came up really often is the role of vitamin D in immune defense against things like the flu and COVID-19. Here's Bryce's advice. What's really interesting is that this is no longer even classified as a vitamin. Vitamin D is now understood as a hormone, a pro-hormone, a good for you hormone. And of course, it's the sunshine vitamin. We get it when we're outdoors and we're exposed to sun. But that sun will convert through our skin for better or for worse, depending on your ethnicity and skin pigmentation, it will convert through the cholesterol in your skin to vitamin D. That's a natural exposure. If you're right. not exposed to the sun, you need to take it. Now, here's what we're seeing as it relates to colds, flus, the current COVID scenario. Uh, most ER scenarios, most healthcare facilities of individuals who have come down with COVID are actually recommending vitamin D in treatment. But here's right. the thing that the research is showing us. It's not so effective giving somebody uh, vitamin D once they've been infected you know, with flu, with a cold, or even for that matter, COVID. What's yeah. really important is we get our levels optimized early on. And what that means is by supplementing, it takes weeks to months before those levels get systemically high enough that now you're actually preventing uh, mm -hmm. the susceptibility, you're preventing uh, infection. And this is a real key point to understand. So vitamin D deficiency causes immune system deficiency, point blank. It's responsible for over 200 other uh, factors and enzymes in the body. So get your levels um, high enough so that, especially during winters, mo winter months, that you're actually literally defending uh, from viruses, and for that matter, bacteria. So how much vitamin D should the average person take daily to reach those defensive levels? Wild says to ensure you're taking D3 in liquid form as the body absorbs it better. You want to take about 4,000 IU if you don't know your levels. Now, keep in mind, vitamin D is fat soluble. So you want to take this, you know, either with your fish oil or your you know, teaspoon of, uh, of olive oil or with your meal. If your meal contains, you know, a piece of fatty fish or something in it with oil, that'll ensure that you're actually getting that vitamin D. Our health and wellness Q&A also covered the basic daily supplements you can take to maintain immune health. For the full chat, you can go to our websites at citynews.ca and 680news.com or to go directly to the article, you can point your phone camera to the code on the screen you see right now and follow the link that pops up. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.